Hi everybody and welcome to Mastering IELTS Writing Task 1 for the General Training Module. My name is Matt and I'm going to be your instructor for the duration of this course. You will have learned a little bit about me from the preview video but just to remind you I am the founder of The IELTS Teacher, a website which exclusively teaches students how to prepare for IELTS via Skype and screen sharing and writing correction services. We've been on operation since 2013 and we've helped hundreds of students to achieve their IELTS goals so far through thousands of lessons given. And this is my fifth course for IELTS, having had uh, many of my previous courses very well reviewed. And many people have requested this course in particular, and so I have created this for you now. So in this first lecture, we're going to just talk about how this course is structured, what you can expect from the course, and we're also going to have a quick look at the IELTS exam in general. So let's start by looking at the course, an introduction to the course. This course is for anybody who's aiming to achieve a band seven or above in IELTS writing, the general training module. Considering how the course is structured, well, it is divided into six sections designed to address each band descriptor category requirement. We'll talk about that later. And to help give you the confidence to produce a high quality task one letter using various strategies and techniques and vocabulary. The course works because it addresses the most common difficulties that students and candidates find when they are responding to task one general training questions. I have discovered these common errors through my teaching and also through the writing correction services. And we also offer clear strategies for tackling the task and addressing each of the band descriptor requirements individually. Let's have a closer look now at how the course is structured, how those six sections are divided. This is the first section that we're in now. This is the introduction. And in this section, we'll be just talking about, as we are now, the course itself, how it's structured. Uh, what you can expect from it. We'll talk about how the IELTS exam is structured and what to expect from that. And we'll also talk about the band descriptors as well, uh, the individual categories and then the criteria which make up those categories. After this section, we'll be looking at how to approach and answer uh, the task by writing your letter, thinking about the different letter, letter types and planning and tone. We'll also be looking at structure and coherence, things like paragraphing, transitioning between ideas and between paragraphs, using cohesive devices, referencing. Now, each of these sections actually corresponds to a different band descriptor category. So the approach answer section, that's all about task achievement. The structure and coherence section, that's about coherence and cohesion. Each of the band descriptor categories are worth 25% of your score. So we are dividing those equally. And following the structure and coherence section, you'll see we have a lexical resource section. This is all about vocabulary. And we break this down by looking at vocabulary for informal, semi-formal and formal letters. And we'll also think a bit about paraphrasing as well. And then we finish up in terms of the band descriptor categories by looking at grammar. Grammatical range and accuracy is the title of that category. So we'll be thinking about complex sentences, about using punctuation, and we'll be thinking about some common mistakes in terms of grammar in letter writing. Final section will be the conclusion, where we will have a look at a demonstration of writing a letter for general training task one from start to finish in real time. We'll then think about some secrets to success, a few techniques which maybe didn't fit in any of the other categories. And uh, we'll also talk about where you can get some extra guidance as well and think about things like writing corrections. And there will be a discount code at the end of the course for anybody who would like to take advantage of those corrections. Thinking about how to approach this course and get the most out of it, there are a couple of recommendations that I have. The first recommendation is that you should try to complete the course within two weeks. This course is going to be a bit shorter than some of my other courses. And part of the reason for that is that there isn't as much to learn about general training task one 
does tend to be a little bit easier. Uh, that's not to say it's easy by any means, and there is a lot to learn, but there is not as much to learn as in the other courses. But two weeks should be good, but please do take your time if you need to. To make the most of this course, you should try to bring a hard-working attitude to every lecture. That should go without saying. Continue to practice alone by answering task one questions frequently, ideally every day, but if not that, maybe every other day, you want to keep a consistent uh, attitude towards your practice. I would also strongly recommend that you watch the task two course lectures, Mastering Arts Writing Task Two. I didn't want to repeat anything that I included in those lectures because many people will have already seen those task two lectures but there is a lot of very useful information in there and task two is worth twice as many points as task one so I strongly recommend that you do watch those lectures as well. Try to find an IELTS writing tutor to check your work just to make sure that you're on the right track just to learn about any weaknesses that you might have and should be targeting. Um, we'll be talking about where you can find an IELTS writing tutor in the final lecture of the course and try to enjoy the writing process if possible. When you're writing letters, it can be a little bit more enjoyable because sometimes you're imagining that you're writing to a friend, you learn some new vocabulary, some more idiomatic vocabulary and things like that. So try to enjoy the process. It's very important to highlight though what this course is not going to do for you. So I don't want anybody to be disappointed. I think it's important therefore to explain up front, and this is a free preview lecture, so hopefully you haven't already um, committed just yet, what you should not expect to gain from this course. This is not a course which is just going to give you tons of vocabulary sets. I hope that you learn lots of vocabulary anyway during the course. And there is a vocabulary section, but that vocabulary is going to be used in terms of expressions that we use within letters that maybe we wouldn't see outside of letters. But we're not going to look at individual words and try to rack up a huge uh, vocabulary set in our mind. I recommend that you continue to do research on vocabulary, but don't look to this course to give you exactly what you're looking for in terms of vocabulary. The same goes for grammar, grammar exercises. This is not a grammar course. This is a course that's designed to help to best prepare you for IELTS writing task one of the general training module within a short amount of time. If you know that you have any particular grammatical weaknesses, I strongly recommend that you work on those, but that you find resources outside of this course that will help you to do so. We will be talking about grammar and we will be talking about some common mistakes that people make, but this is not going to be a comprehensive account. It's supposed to prepare you in a quick fire kind of way for the sort of grammatical challenges that you will face in the exam. This is not a course that will provide you with correction services. We do offer a correction service, as I mentioned, but you will need to purchase that separately. We talk about giving a 10% discount code in the final lecture, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, you're totally free to answer, ask me any questions in the Q&A uh, function that Udemy provides, but please don't send me whole essays to Mark because they will be ignored or I will tell you that you need to uh, purchase a correction if you want to have your essays marked. This is not a course that will give you essay writing advice. As I mentioned earlier, we have a task two course, very, very good course, very well reviewed, uh, something like about 10,000 students now have enrolled on that, very happy students, most of them. So I recommend that you check that out if you want to improve your essay writing for task two. This is not a course that will give you lots of model answers, but we will be looking at a couple. There will be one in section two and there will be one in the final section as well. Just thinking about um, what you can best do to raise your mark in IELTS writing task one. And finally, this is not a course for academic writing task one. It's not a course that's looking at all the graphs and charts and maps and processes. I do have another course for that, mastering IELTS writing task one academic. Um, hopefully, if you've got this far, you, you probably won't think that it's for academic writing task one. If you did, then yeah, maybe maybe you need to rethink which videos you click on. But uh, yeah, it's not for academic writing task one. So let's think about the IELTS exam in general. This is the general picture that I use. Like I said, I didn't want to repeat content from previous courses, 
but the IELTS exam is the same all the time, so I'm going to have to repeat some of the content here. If you don't know much about the IELTS exam, I'd recommend looking at this uh, image quite closely. You might want to pause the video. For our purposes, we're only thinking about writing task one, so we're going to focus on that. Notice the difference between academic writing and general writing. In academic writing, you're writing about a graph or a diagram, process chart, that kind of thing. General writing, general training writing, you're just writing a letter. It might be a formal letter, semi-formal letter, informal letter, but it's always a letter. Uh, you can see that there, academic writing, and then general writing on the right-hand side. We're focusing on the letter. In terms of time, you have 20 minutes. They advise you to take 20 minutes on writing task one and spend 40 minutes on task two. And you need to write a minimum of 150 words for your letter. So do keep that in mind. It's very, very important in terms of task achievement that you write at least 150 words. Okay, as for how to contact me, uh, please don't hesitate to do so, first of all. Uh, you can contact me via any of these functions here, but I tend to be the most responsive to, uh, when you are asking me on Udemy. So if you use the Q&A function that Udemy provides, I'm most likely to respond to you there. I'm certainly most likely to respond to you most quickly. Uh, but you can also think about emailing me, matt at the IELTS teacher.com. I also have a Facebook page, an Instagram page, and you can visit the website as well. Okay, hopefully that gives you a good overview of what to expect from this course and how the IELTS exam is structured. And we can now think about those all important band descriptors.